Nations, welcome to KMTV News Update. I'm Salon Bukhari. Let's bring you our first development. Two presidential candidates in Female Journalist Association of Liberia Elections, Seattle Scott Johnson and Lisa Dassey, have strongly frowned on hate messages and personal attacks that have so far overshadowed the ongoing debate process. According to them, it is about time that their supporters focus on the issues at hand and ensure they make the right decision necessary for the betterment of their association. Let's put Fija first and desist from beta and negative propaganda, both Lisa and Seattle caution Fija's members. According to on their platform, according to incumbent Seattle Scott Johnson, she will prioritize capacity building, visibility of Fija, membership welfare, equal opportunity, and empowerment of members, among others. As for candidate Lisa T. Dice, she stressed that it is about time for a new face to take over Fija and carry it to an appreciable level than what it is today, and she is the best choice to make that, to make that happen. The chairman of the Council of Patriots, Heron Costad, has disclosed that all is set and ready to stage the December 30 protest. In an interview with KMTV, the political commentator stressed that he would not succumb to any amount of threat as they remain unbinding in their quest to ensure President George Weah steps down. The cause, he emphasized, is for the suffering masses who go to sleep without a meal a day under a claim by government headed by President George Weah. According to him, he does not need a permit from government to organize a protest, though the government has recently instructed that all those seeking to stage a protest must obtain a permit from the Justice Ministry before the execution of said exercise, something caused that noted is not constitutional. U.S. Senate has officially concurred with the House to pass into law the immigration bill intended to create permanent status for deferred enforced departure, commonly known as the, the holders to Liberians living in the United States. The decision is another great relief for Liberians residing in the United States of America. According to reports, the decision appeared to be a great Christmas gift for Liberians in the U.S. who just could not up to press time have their jaw as praises and appreciation is now the order of the day. Speaking to reporters shortly after the decision was taken, United States Senator Tina Smith, one of the brains behind the art passage told WCCO that it has been a major breakthrough that will provide permanent status to thousands of Liberians in Minnesota and across the United States. Despite some of the weaknesses in the health sector, including the low doctors to patients ratio in the country, Liberia now has neurosurgeon Dr. Alvin Doe, Mr. Do, Dr. Doe and team, after a few hours of teaming up in a medical theater, successfully performed the country's first brain tumor surgery at the government-run John F. Kennedy Medical Center in the country. Over the years, the past and present government has been training specialized doctors to cater to the growing wave of illness in the country because most Liberians are unable to seek medical treatment abroad. With such news, the effort by Dr. Doe, many Liberians, including officials of the Liberian government, are overwhelmed. And motivational speaker Reverend Luther Tappe has officially joined the opposition Unity Party Tuesday at his welcoming ceremony in Congo Town. The new Unity Partisan promised to bring political light to the country, noting that the time for him to sit on the fence is over. I've come today to let the people of Liberia know that I'm here to join serious minded people. And that serious minded people are the Unity Party. The party, in my opinion, does have the best agenda and platform for a new and better Liberia. That is no secret that the progress or the retrogression of any nation depends largely on those in the political show. The political machinery drive the economic agenda of any nation. I've come to see with great conviction that when politics is done well, 
the benefit for the nation is immense and far-reaching. When those engaged in politics are men and women of integrity, men and women of vision, men and women whose heart and compassion and heart for the plight of the masses, men and women who believe in collaborative efforts and bring on board competent, dynamic people to work the ideals of government, men and women who put the interest of the country first, when that happens, we have development. When that happens, we have improved infrastructure. When that happens, we have stable and dynamic economy. When that happens, we have a fair and impartial judiciary system. And we educate and empower the citizenry. What I have envisaged for Liberia is that we no longer going to sit on the fence and allow all kind of people to destroy our country. His motivational speaker, Reverend Luther Tappe, who officially joined the Opposition Unity Party on Tuesday. With that development, we come to the end of KMTV News Update. For more news and information, log on to www.tvliberia.com. I'm Selim Bukhari. Thanks for watching. Looking for a quality and affordable insurance company? Then look no further. Peter Massico Insurance, located in central New Jersey, is one of the best around. Peter Massico Insurance specializes in homeowner's insurance, auto insurance, life insurance, business insurance, and many more. We even offer a free financial planning consultation. We partner with over 20 top-rated companies to make sure we provide affordable prices to our clients. We have a full bilingual staff to fit your needs as well. Let Peter Massico Insurance help you today.